I have made a big decision and a tough decision as well. Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to another video. Will you join me in the Lamborghini where I'm just about to head off for what is going to be an action packed day ahead. I'm really looking forward to this one. Paul Wallace is coming into London. He is going to be here with his Audi R8 and also Tom TG. He is going to be around as well. We want to go into London. We want to see what cars are around and just enjoy the day while the sun is still out because let's be honest next week it probably won't won't be. So you would have seen the last video I made, probably the spray paint video. Um, I'm not going to be talking about this any further. There has been a lot of online abuse directed at me um, and pretty sort of hurtful stuff which has been coming through. Um, there has been a certain few individuals uh, which have caused this. I'm not going to go into any names but I really just don't want to talk about it any further. Whatever I say in this situation is going to be wrong. Honestly, it's going to be wrong, uh, but I just want to clear it up that I just don't think that the hate is fair and um, especially abusing people and abusing their families um, online as well and all that sort of thing. I just don't think it's the right thing. I just don't really think it's been a very nice 48 hours for me and uh, also for other people as well. Let's all stay strong together. I love making content for you guys and uh, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, I'm not gonna let this get to me. We're gonna crack on and we are gonna enjoy the day. So we have arrived at the car park to get these cars clean. The Lambo is behind me looking absolutely filthy. Look, there you go, Paul Wallace is back there. Look, we're in a hand car wash. Hello, mate. Hello. How's it going? Good. Very windy. We're in the... Yeah. Still in the same car. When does your car come back? Tuesday. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of people are probably going to troll me that I'm taking my car to a hand car wash. These people are really good, and I've been here before, and the car is a wrap, and it needs to be sorted. So uh, I phoned them earlier. I was like, I'm coming down, and uh, we need to get my car, hopefully, looking decent and hopefully nothing needs to be replaced wrap wise in terms of scratches and everything else which has happened to it in the last few days and then uh, we're going to head on into London I'm not sure at this point whether I'm going to take my car um, or leave this behind and jump in the passenger seat and we're going to go spotting on foot but we'll find out in a minute we're going to get your Aventador after this yeah yeah we are I'm staying well away from that thing why yeah you've already you've gone out of it right <laughs> yeah yeah I'm going to be <laughs> approximately five miles away from it. Sensible. You've been next to him in that. It's... No, I've been in it with him. Oh, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I've just parked my Lamborghini Hurricane in uh, TG's car. Cheers, mate. And uh, it is all washed and it is all clean. So we're brought if you're any of if, if any of you are thinking at home, is it if it's damaged? Is it not? Well, you'll be able to see here. It's actually pretty good. It is a little bit. It does have a few scratches. Swell marks are terrible and also there are scratches. Oh, there you go. There's one big one sort of around here as well. So it's, it's got a bit of damage on terms of to the wrap. We have to remember that this is a wrap. This is not paint, but it's nice when it's all clean. That is for sure. Today, like I say, we're going to go into London. We're going to see what it's about. I'm not taking the Hurricane. It's going to stay here for now. Time to uh, dump your Porsche, mate, and get your Lamborghini. Do you see what? Do you see what I did there? What? Um, you time to dump your Porsche, leave your Lamborghini. Um, the, the Defender can't come today, uh, but the SVJ is en route and the 812 is en route. Uh, oh yeah, and the Golf, and there might be something else as well. Oh yes, uh, potentially a GT3 Touring. That's me. Yeah, you got a video, mate. Bear with me. <sighs> you know what you're doing. Oh, I, I, I'm not, I can't film both of this. We are just about to jump in this, but he's just about to churn a video. Here we go. Three, two, one. I never know whether it's recording. I just, the button's just so fiddly. My Lamborghini and into Mr. TG's Lamborghini. This, on the roads of London, is going to be a lot of fun, especially on a... What have you done? Hit your head. Right, okay. This is the best part of this car. Oh yeah, we've got these seats in here, don't we? It's like sitting on the floor. Okay, mate, don't moan. <laughs> No, no, you know what I mean. We're matching Doors today, down. it's all very cute. Oh, and you got a blue tick in here as well. Yeah, I've got a blue tick on Twitter as well, and yeah. my Instagram. Yeah. Have you got a blue tick on Instagram? <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, so we're both verified? Uh huh. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Do your birds like it? Mm. You have such a nicer dash compared to my car. Yep. But it yeah, that's what happens with an Aventador. But this is just chaos. This whole just putting the Porsche key. Yeah, 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 no, that's all that mean. This is chaos, lad. 
Oh, what did you press there? Just cool to me. Oh yeah, yeah. That... Sport is actually louder. Is it actually? Yeah, sports. Sports like the show-off mode, if you like, and courses the more like serious track focus mode. Should we have a chat? about the fact that the SVJ coming, which is very, very exciting. Yep. And the fact that you are getting that car, and the fact, well, we won't talk too much about it, because I'm sure you'll want to turn a video on it. Many. And that is the fact that that car has now got the lap record around the Nürburgring. It certainly does. And there'll be more on that on your channel, right? We'll have a proper discussion about it. Yeah, you But do. that is mental. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, fever. Yeah, yeah, well, that. That is mental that an Aventador can get a lap record around the Nürburgring and beat a GC2 RS. Bonkers. The size of these things is I know. carnage. It's mental. That guy deserves a knighthood for that. Natelli? You know he's my teammate. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> my teammate. I know. Well, he's not your teammate anymore. You we nearly it. won the championship together. Oh, nearly. He's done a lot better than me in life, hasn't he? He's won. He's You've got more Instagram followers, though. He... Sorry, we're judging on different metrics here. <laughs> he's going... <laughs> And that is what I don't have with the Hurricane, and I do miss that. Well, I don't miss it, I've never had one, but the fact of the doors. There he is, Mr. Wallace. Parking it up, good lad. And then this. They're quite heavy, actually. Yeah, there we go. Whatever way you look at it, on the road, I've never seen anything get as much attention as an event of RSV. It's just ridiculous. Everywhere we go. You gotta lift up, lad, just letting you know. It's uh, still up, if you wanna meet, uh, still up, yeah. G-Wagon mate, get it? Those old ones are cool, and yeah. the dark green, that is cool. Yeah. I think it's cooler than a new one. That would be the only contender to replace a Defender, is a vintage G-Wagon. If you had a G, mate, the attention is mental. The guy's got the, everyone's got the cameras out. Give me a U. U. Give me a tube. Tube. Give me a U-Tubers. 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 There's a very chaotic dog, mate. So that's way, I think. That is a good woofer. Yes. On Sloan Street. Cool, there's quite a lot of car spotters out. You're on camera, do not swear, what do you have to say? Yeah, we'll have that. That's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, we're in. We have just turned up to the Dorchester. We have a Mercedes C63S here, which is very cool. Five door. You like that five door mate? Yeah. I'm waiting for this car to leave so then I can show this sick R8. I love this rack. Oh, yes. I don't care what you say, Tom. That is sick. It does look good. It's an absolute nuts. Singer, singer. Oh, we have a McLaren, we have another Aventador, we have a Panamera. That engine at the end there. You won't have a clue. It's the S65, it's got ceramic brakes the whole lot. It's probably about 170k. You are having me on. Hurricane Performante, very nice. We are just about to jump back in at the Aventador and head on our way, but it's just so cool. Going in this is just such an amazing experience. We talk about presence a lot on this channel, but genuinely, it is utter chaos, this car. And I don't think Tom gets enough credit for just an achievement it is in buying a 365,000 pound Lamborghini because it's just mad, it really, really is, and I do troll him a lot, but he doesn't really get enough credit for this. It's just ridiculous. You have to pinch yourself. You do have to pinch yourself when we love what we do. Don't get me wrong, we absolutely love what we do. Going to pick up my Hurricane as well. It's just absolutely ridiculous what we're doing, and it's all for you guys sort of to watch them as well. But just like that, when you're going down in something like the SV, and you're cruising down like Sloan Street or Kings Road, Anyone on that road wants to be in your situation and be sat in that car. And you have to, I always remember that and I'll never forget the time I went in my first car and obviously now I even own one. It's ridiculous. We're both saying goodbye on camera. Bye Paul. See ya. See you soon. So I'm now back and the Lamborghini Huracan is all parked up behind me. Look how amazing that looks. Oh, it does look so good. So nice to be back driving it and uh, around London as well. So I do want to talk to you about this car. I have made a big decision and a tough decision as well because you would have seen I've been on the hunt for a Lamborghini Aventador and I've been looking and I've been like, you know what? 
do I get an Aventador or the one of my most recent videos I say should I keep the Hurricane and just mod the hell out of it literally just mod the hell out of it not by wrapping it that's not part of this I just literally go crazy with body kits and things like that there are some amazing body kits out there 1016 they absolutely nail it and I've been in touch with them and uh, there is the chance to modify the hell out of this car. The more I've been driving this car the last week, and especially today, and after driving Tony's Hurricane Performante on the track, I've just realized just how much I love it even more uh, than I even realized before. And another thing which I realized is that I remember so well the A45. It's like I've never got over that A45. And, and modifying it was one of the most satisfying things I've ever done. Um, and there's so much you can do to this car. It's not me being like, oh, I can't afford an Aventador. Because I would be stretching myself, but I could get an Aventador. We could turn this into a total another animal and maybe that's content that hasn't really been done before especially in the uk so let's talk about a few of the things that we could do to change this car we could put a hood on the front there we could put like a whole front lip here like a whole front splitter uh, which goes out there uh, wheels we can change the wheels i know some people don't like these wheels but they can be changed um obviously i personally love this wrap i don't really want to change it i really like it the side splitters you could have out here and then they just give that car a really beefier look and then if we go to the back the wing you can actually change the angle of the wing so we can maybe make it a little bit more flatter let me know in the comment section if you think you would like that you can also no joke you could get the exhaust coming out the same as a performante that you can actually do that and that is a thing rear diffuser you can make the whole of the back of it just unbelievable also you can lower it Look at the gap which we have here, um, just like there. What I want you guys to do, comment down below what mods you want to see on the Hurricane. It's not going anywhere just yet. I just think it's such an amazing car. I really, really do this sort of thing. I just think it's just a really, really good bit of kit. And this week, there is gonna be a lot of fun content and I'm going back on the track. You would have seen the last video, not the last one, the one before that. Uh, with the Hurricane Performante. I cannot wait. In a very, very special car, and you guys are all coming along for the journey. I want to make amazing content, trust me. Comment down below what mods you would do straight away if you had the chance with the Hurricane. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for the support, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all very soon.